Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. I'm sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor things present, nor things to come, nor power, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. In the name of Christ, who died and was raised to the glory of God the Father, grace and mercy and peace be with you. We meet this day to remember before God, our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, to renew our trust and confidence in Christ and to pray that together we may be one in him through whom we offer our prayers and praises to the Father. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Blessed are you, Lord our God, lover of souls. You uphold us in life and sustain us in death. To you be glory and praise forever. For the darkness of this age is passing away as Christ the bright and morning star brings to his saints the light of life. As you give light to those in darkness who walk in the shadow of death, so remember in your kingdom your faithful servant Elizabeth, that death may be for her the gate to life and to unending fellowship with you, where with your saints you live and reign, one in the perfect union of love, now and forever. Amen. O God, our Sovereign and Shepherd, who brought again your Son, Jesus Christ, from the valley of death, comfort us with your protecting presence, and your angels of goodness and love, that we also may come home and dwell with him in your house forever. Amen. Dear my brothers and sisters, before we sit for the readings, we are going to sing our first hymn, hymn number 473. <coughs> Mm-hmm. <clears throat>
Please be seated. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discerned my thoughts from far away. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways, even before a word is on my tongue. O oh Lord, you know it completely. You hand me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is so high that I cannot attain it. Where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. And if I make my bed in show, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and settle at the farthest limits of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. For it was you who formed my inward parts. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works that I know very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes beheld my unformed substance. In your book were written all the days that were formed for me when none of them as yet existed. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I try to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end. I am still with you. O oh, that you'd kill the wicked, O God, and that the bloodthirsty would depart from me. Those who speak of you maliciously and lift themselves up against you for evil. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me, and lead me in the way everlasting. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. He shall refresh my soul and guide me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will feel no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You spread a table before me in the presence of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. Surely goodness and loving mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was now and shall be forever. Amen.
Jesus said, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from Revelation. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his peoples, and God himself will be with them. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more, for the first things have passed away. And the one who was seated on the throne said, See, I am making all things new. Also he said, Write this, for these words are trustworthy and true. Then he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water as a gift from the spring of the water of life. Those who conquer will inherit these things, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. This is the word of the Lord. Now we stand to sing our second hymn, hymn number 475.
Please be seated. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The souls of the righteous are in the hand of God, and there shall no torment touch them. You, Lord, have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Merciful Father and Lord of all life, we praise you that we are made in your image and reflect your truth and light. We thank you for the life of our late Sovereign Lady, Queen Elizabeth, for the love she received from you and showed among us. Above all, we rejoice at your gracious promise to all your servants, living and departed. But we shall rise again at the coming of Christ. And we ask that in due time we may share with your servant Elizabeth that clearer vision promised to us in the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, our Maker and Redeemer, grant us with your servant Queen Elizabeth and all the faithful departed, the sure benefits of your son's saving passion and glorious resurrection, that in the last day, when you gather up all things in Christ, we may with them enjoy the fullness of your promises. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies and giver of all comfort, deal graciously, we pray, with all who mourn, the members of the royal family, this nation, and all the nations of the commonwealth, and casting all our care on you, we may know the consolation of your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And into your hands, O Father and Lord, we command your servant, our late sovereign lady, Queen Elizabeth, Enlighten her with your holy grace and suffer her never to be separated from you. O Lord, in Trinity, God everlasting, may God, in his mercy, grant us, with all the faithful departed, rest and peace. Amen. Now, dear my friends, I'm going to invite all of you if you wish to do so, to come up here in orderly form. Um, Alfie, our server, and then Dave Jenner, our church warden, will help you to light the candle. When you light the candle, um, go back to your seat. And I think um, by the time we may miss to keep um, one minute silence at eight o'clock, but we will do our best. And at the end of this service, we will keep the silence for one minute. While we are lighting the candles, we're going to play the music, Psalm 139, which you heard. And this is the version that was sung when the coffin was arriving at the Westminster Hall a couple of days ago.
Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all goodness, bless our sovereign Lord King Charles and all who are in authority under him. That they may order all things in wisdom and equity, righteousness and peace to the honour of your name and the good of your church and people. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. For final blessing, if you can, would you please stand. The Lord be with you and also with you. May God, in his infinite love and mercy, bring the whole church living and departed to a joyful resurrection and the fulfillment of his eternal kingdom and a blessing of God the Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Before we sing our national anthem, now we are going to keep our one-minute silence.